I, uh, yeah, yeah, well, in a minute, in a minute, that. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm new to this uh, sceptic world. I, I, don't, I don't even really like the word sceptic, I'll be honest with you. I'm for rationalists. I think all that stuff, you just naturally don't believe in it. It's a sceptic, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying this. Well, of course he can't talk to the fucking dead. Of course he can't. It's, uh, uh, but why am I telling you that? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I accidentally read Chat Magazine. No, I accidentally, genuinely, it was lying in an office. It wasn't this one. It was actually the previous copy. I tried to buy the previous copy. It's, it's, you know, it's gone now. It's a new one. Um, and they've got a psychic. Uh, his name's Tony, uh, and you know, I, I totally don't really have a problem with uh, a psychic, you know, saying to someone like, you, you know, your dad's having a lovely time and he's bought himself a bungalow in heaven, he's actually doing really well for himself. <laughs> I've not got a problem with that, because if that makes you feel better, then that's fine, it's the charging vast amounts of money. And like, I mean, that's the horrible part, it's like, you can call us, you can call us and then we can get money from you and we'll make you feel better. What, uh, what happens in this, this is how serious this man takes other people's feelings is that people write in like uh, carol west sussex her son died can you imagine imagine losing a child and just going the, and that's a loss that i can't even imagine what that must feel because you must feel that you that you failed because so, you know something that was beyond your control and your son died and this guy uh contacted the son and hey carol you know don't you worry about it he's He's all right, he's really all right, he's really all right. Anyway, it's called Ooh Spooky! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk more about that, but I don't think we've got time. Um, which is a shame, because there's some funny lines in that. In fact, why don't you have it? I this is what I love about Chat Magazine, anyway. It actually sums up all of human existence in one magazine. <laughs> Look, life, death, prizes! That's, <laughs> that's pretty much it, isn't it? That's pretty much the deal. You, you have that. Uh, now, uh, so this story, I don't expect you to believe it, uh, and if you do, why the fuck are you here? Uh, you're in the wrong place. Oh, is everyone, uh, is everyone in this room sceptic? Does anyone believe? Oh, I believe everything. You believe everything? <laughs> well, um, well, well, what happened to me was, uh, I went, I went, I'll admit, I went to see Joe Power to laugh at him. I did. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go, well, you know, let's keep it on my mind. No, I went to laugh at the stupid idiot, right? <laughs> But when I got there, I, I really stopped laughing um, because there weren't many people there. It was like literally 30 people in a 200-seater room, uh, exactly, unlike here where there's 60 people in a 20-seater room. <laughs> Enjoy your death, everyone. Uh, and uh, so I felt sorry, and I thought, you know what, I'm, not, I'm just going to sit. It's going to be an hour of my life. I'll just sit there, I'll shut up. I pity the guy. What's the point in laughing at you're kicking him when he's down? Then he walked on. Fuck it up. <laughs> it, he walks on. I mean, he's talking to the dead. He's bringing closure to people. And that's why he's wearing silver shoes and a glittery jacket. <laughs> showbiz! <laughs> and the thing is, he has no showbiz. He's got no showbiz. He, the worst part of his show is it's fucking boring. God, it's dull. Dead people are fucking tedious. <laughs> <laughs> They're oh, God, I, he, he, got, he talks about his life. His first 15 minutes is the biography of Joe. And basically, he's a thug. He was talking about how he was uh, in jail for GPH and he was barred from loads and loads of uh, clubs in Liverpool uh, because of fighting. I'll tell you, I've been to Liverpool. You have to be really fucking <laughs> fighting 24 hours a day before they will ban you from a pub for fighting. It's a top town uh, to get by. Anyway, so 15 minutes of, uh, of tedium. Then he started with his gift. Very clever. He brought out his tarot cards. Now the thing about his tarot cards is he will always be looking at his tarot cards when talking to you. And the thing is, tarot cards are always right. They're always right. So if you say that it's not true, you're wrong. <laughs> what a cunt. Now, <laughs> he then, oh, I said, I, really, can you imagine opening a show, uh, uh, you're talking about your gift, talking to the dead, with this line. But I'm telling you now, this was his opening gambit to the audience. Does anyone in the room know someone called Dave? <laughs> <laughs> now, I was 
was using my psychic powers <laughs> to let everyone. No one put their hand up. No one put their hand up. No one put. Their, come on, let us be the only 30 people in the <laughs> fucking world that don't know it. Dave, is that short for something? I want to. You know, no. I uh, couldn't hard to believe someone in the room actually did know someone called Dave. And uh, she went, right, right. Um, and Dave, yeah, know, right. you know Dave, right? And Dave, Dave's. Dave's in the spirit world. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Dave's not in the spirit world because I've got a message for Dave. It's from someone in the spirit world. And he spoke to this woman who must have been, uh, I mean, at least 68 years old. And that's when he fucking rocked my world. He has got a gift. Your parents no longer with us? <laughs> <laughs> so that's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, your mum and your dad? Yes, that's right. Your parents are dead? No, she didn't answer the third time because I felt she didn't need to. She's already said it twice, so she didn't. And I swear to God, this is what this lovely man said to her. Just went, hello, answer me, I'm alive. Well, isn't that fucking great for you? It's, oh, God, oh, you're really easing my fucking hurt and pain. Just knowing that you're alive while my parents are dead. That'll really get me through this pain, Joe. Anyway. Oh, and isn't it typical? It's because it was her dad that had the message. It was her dad that wanted to talk. And isn't it typical of dads, eh? They contact, but they never want to talk to you. They always want to pass it on to someone else. You talk to your mum. Dad had nothing to say to this woman. He had a message for Dave. For, uh, yeah, for Dave. Dave. Dave had to be contacted. And this is what got him angry. This is what got Joe angry, because I laughed. I laughed. I, do you know why I laughed? I laughed because it was fucking funny. <laughs> I laughed because what he said wasn't funny. And when you hear something funny, you laugh. <laughs> he just went, right. Dad's got a message for Dave. Message is, tell Dave to be careful around the vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fucking tell me that dad has crossed a spiritual plane <laughs> to say, look after yourself. That's it. That's all he's got. That stupid dead prick. And that's all he has to say. Be lucky. That's fucking it. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> I laugh. This upset Jim. Um, anyway, right, right, right. Someone some up there laughed. Someone up there laughed. Yeah, yeah. Pass the microphone to me. So he's aggressive. And I'm embarrassed. I'm genuinely embarrassed because there's not enough people in the room for it to be a camaraderie feeling. It's just, it's awkward. And he goes, right, you, something wrong with one of your testicles. Now the thing is, there is something wrong with one of my testicles. There genuinely is. I would show you, but it's not that. <laughs> uh, it's really not that kind of gig. It's, you're just going to have to believe me. Um, I've got a weird... God, you, this is a double whammy for you skeptics. I've sort of got a crop circle on one of my balls. <laughs> it's, it's just a weird thing. But he was right now, he went, there's something wrong with your testicles. I'm so overjoyed. Because how could he know that? How could he fucking know that? Anyone who's ever seen me naked doesn't talk about it. <laughs> the only way he would know this information is if a ghost saw me in the bath and told him. That's the only way, right? So I was overjoyed. He went, yeah, brilliant. That, that is true. There is something wrong with my testicles. And he came back with, don't want to see them, not gay. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, fuck me, Joe! I actually thought you were a gift, and I went all the way up that lane with you, and you slapped me in the face because what am I? I'm a dirty, filthy queer. Brilliant! <laughs> Getting angry thinking about it. <laughs> see, exactly, exactly. It's, it's what? That's, that's what you have to come back with? A gay joke? Fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, then he said, uh, uh, oh, first of all, he, uh, he figured out, we had a little bit of band, and he figured out, uh, amazingly, that I wasn't from Scotland. <laughs> Brilliant. And, uh, and I, I, I felt embarrassed, so I tried to sort of go along with it, and he, he got everything wrong. I mean, everything wrong. Too. Like, uh, there's three people in your family. No. I mean, not including your parents, there's three kids. No. Look at the cards. The cards are right. That's fucking weird. Well, no, no I've got five. Yeah, it's wrong. So he failed and failed and failed. But he knew he had to get me. He fucking hated me, so he had to get me. <laughs> she just went, no, I'm joking. I'm, you know, basically, I'm performing. Because I'm embarrassed. So I, I, and the room is silent, like now. And, <laughs> and uh, tough fucking ground scan. <laughs> um, so I joke with him. He just goes, right, you, uh, you're a performer? I don't know what fuck me, Joe. 
<laughs> you know what? In August in Edinburgh, find me. <laughs> 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 and, I, and I, yeah, yeah, I didn't joke with him there because I mean, he's he's Dan. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kick him while he's Dan. But yeah, I, I, I I'm performer. Right, 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 right. Now, I see something happening with you and television in two years. Now, he's obviously said that because he wants to make amends. Maybe he feels embarrassed now. I. I wanted to make amends too, so I joked. But the thing is, he doesn't like jokes at all. He doesn't like me. He hates them, they're confusing, they make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went, yay, I'm gonna make it! You know, all right, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But, you know, but he got really angry at that. And he just went, yeah, I didn't say it was gonna be good. <laughs> so he's being nasty. And I just thought, well, I'll be nice. And I went, well, maybe in two years' time, I'll get, I'll get a television. Maybe that's what it means. <laughs> that was me trying to be self-deprecating and helping him out. Then he fucking snapped. But he said something. And this is when he threw me up, by the way. He said something that I had no answer to. See if you have an answer to this. <laughs> I'm thinking overseas or theater or here. <laughs> Do I have to make a sentence out of those words myself? And I just want, I, I don't know what you're saying, but you know, out, out. And I just wrote. And I felt really embarrassed, I felt really embarrassed. And I wrote, wrote a blog about it. And you know, and it got passed around. And although it's, I, I'm embarrassed of what happened, um, I've achieved something. Because I don't think uh, Professor Wiseman has uh, emailed so many uh, blogs with such graphic use of the word cunt before. <laughs> <laughs> if I've done nothing, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> I'm being thrown. Okay, get out! Help!